Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is dedicated to our feet and we're going to be using an Egyptian milk and honey recipe. This recipe has been used for centuries in Egypt and we're using some new technology as well. So if you're interested, just keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button and also comment down below. And let's get started. So this is the before of my feet and they are looking pretty bad and I have some callus build up so I've just let my feet soak for about 30 minutes just so I can soften the skin and here I am going to be removing the nail polish as well as clipping the toenails down uh, to your desired length. Here we are setting aside our foot spa and we are going to be applying this callus blaster all over the problem areas and leaving it on for three to five minutes. This is going to help eat away all of that thick callus and it's going to be easier for us to use the pumice stone to scrub it off. Now my timer went off and I am just going to wet the foot and take this pumice stone. You can find a lot of these products either at the dollar store, um, at a beauty supply store, or even on Amazon. I'll try to link some down below. They're very inexpensive. I believe this pumice stone was about a dollar and these are the best uh, pumice stones. I have a real pumice stone. and. It doesn't work as well as this one does, maybe more on the body than the foot, but this is the best one out there. And to maintain the soft feet that we are about to have, I just bring this pumice stone in the shower with me and also just a regular body exfoliator scrub and that's how I maintain my feet throughout the month. And I'll probably soak my feet like this once a month or once every other month and just repaint my toenails or just re-scrub them while I'm in the shower. I'm using the Dove Body Polish 
just to further exfoliate and soften my feet. Now we are almost at the finish line. I'm going to be using this usually I would do these moisturizing foot mask which is like a sheet mask but for your foot it comes with these little sock pouches and they have serum on the inside and it just helps to soak into your feet I'm leaving this on for 20 minutes and I'm going to come back and moisturize now that my feet are nice and soft I'm taking this Palmer Skin Success Fade Milk, which helps with hyperpigmentation on the knuckles and on the ankles. And um, I like to apply this to my feet, and it also has retinol in it, uh, which helps to renew the skin. Um, it helps renew the skin over and over, so it's almost like a exfoliator in the moisturizer. Now I'm using acetone to clean the nail beds and I am going to apply a base coat and two regular coats of nail polish and a top coat and I'll link everything that I'm using down below in the description box. After the polish dries, I'm going to lather them up in some coconut oil and this is the final result. This is super soft and smooth feet with no callus and an even skin tone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something new or tried this at home. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and also turn on your post notifications so you can always be notified when I post a video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.